We're in Word 2019, Jasper Active Lesson 8, using Track Changes. In this activity, we're going to track changes that we make when in this document. So the first thing I want to do is turn on Track Changes. So I'm going to go up to my Review tab, to the Tracking group, and I'm going to select the Track Changes icon. This is going to highlight in gray to show me that it's active. And now I'll see any tracked, any changes that are made will be tracked along the right hand side here. I'm going to go back to that review tab tracking group. And this time I'm going to find the display for review icon. And in the drop down, I want to make sure that all markup is selected. Mark is answered. Go to step two. For step two, we're going to make a few changes. Um, so I'm going to go down to the third paragraph, so one, two, three, where it says we've set up Drive P. I'm going to select the text Drive P by clicking and dragging. And I am, well, first, actually, let's change that. I want to capitalize the D in Drive. So I'm just going to select the D in Drive, Shift D. And then I want to select Drive P altogether. So I just clicked and dragged over that. And then I can apply the bold setting either by clicking on that bold on that mini toolbar or control B works as well. And now you're going to see, so first of all, when I made that change in here to drive, you'll see it crosses out the original word and includes the new word. The formatting change that I made is showing up over here on the right. I'm going to scroll down to step two in saving a file that says the more options. I'm going to select the O in options and change that to a lowercase. And again, you'll see when I made a change to the word, it's showing up here in the document. Then I'm going to scroll down further under opening a file, go to step five. I'm going to select the words double click by clicking and dragging and apply bold to that as well. So control B. And again, format change. Now I see that over here on the right. So to mark as answered and go to step three. On that review tab in the tracking group, I want to click the review pane. Um, we're going to click the drop down and select reviewing pane vertical. That's going to show a vertical pane over here on the left. And you'll see that I have comments as well as changes that have been made. Any changes that are made by me will show up with my name. Um, otherwise, it will show up with whoever changed the document, which is really helpful when you are doing any kind of collaboration and sharing documents. I don't need to keep my revisions pane open, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. And Mark is answered. For step four, we're going to lock the tracking in this document. So on the review pane, in the tracking group, I'm going to click the track changes drop down and select lock tracking. Now I can lock this with a password. We're going to use the password P drive one, two, three. You're going to notice that P is lowercase and the D is capitalized. Make sure you do that in your password as well for both the original password and then re-entering to confirm. Just make sure you're typing it in exactly as written or copying and pasting it in there and click OK. Well, if I click back on tracking, now I'm going to see that my track changes is dimmed. It's not going to allow me to do anything. It's currently disabled because I've locked this document. Mark is answered and go to step five. Now it still allows me to make changes to my document. So I'm going to use the control home function to go to the top. So press and hold control, tap the home key. This should take us right to the top up here. I'm going to select using the public drive. And I want to underline this. It's a little tricky to get just the words. There we go. I'm going to go to the Home tab. And in the Font group, I'm going to click on Underline. I'm also going to change some spacing. So I'm going to go to the Layout tab. And in the Paragraph group, I'm going to change the after spacing to 12. I'm going to scroll down to Step 2 under Saving a File. And I'm going to select the word The and delete that out. And again, you're going to see that it makes that change here. The last thing I need to do is save this document as using the public drive to student. 
into my um, my projects folder. So I'm going to go to File, Save As, browse to my Jasper Active folder, go into my projects, using the public drive to student, and save. And that's all we need to do for this one.